no. What's up guys? It's super cold here in Michigan. Right now it's zero. Um, anyway, in the winter time, tire pressure drops um, along with the temperature. So, you know, it's typical for our tires to, when they're cold, drop below the threshold that the uh, truck is set for. So it throws you a code like that and it doesn't go away unless you either air them up or uh, change the parameters. So, seeing how I ride down the road and they'll go right back up to 68, 69 PSI in the rear, um, I don't want to over inflate them. I don't want to put any more tire pressure on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them and I'm going to drop them using Forescan. Stay tuned. So if you guys don't know what I'm really talking about as far as Forescan goes, do your research on it. I got a ton of videos on it, how to set it up, how to use it, how to do everything with it. So this is just going to show you guys how to change the tire pressure threshold, which is your low level alarm. Um, so the stock Super Duty, mine's a 2017. Um, stock is set up for 60 PSI in the front, 65 PSI in the rear. So if it drops below that, you get a TPMS light on your dash. And it's annoying and it just doesn't go away. Um, even after you warm the tires up and they go above the threshold, it still doesn't go away. So it's kind of annoying. Now, as you can see here on my spreadsheet that I got, you can see other videos on that too. I've got them. Um, but this is my spreadsheet for my uh, 17 Super Duty. In the body control module right here under 726-4001, um, you can change your uh, low pressure alarms. So stock, like I said, is 60 in the front, 65 in the rear. I'm going to drop each of those five. So... The first number here is SC, and that equals 60 PSI, that's the front, so I want to go down to 55. So the 3C, I think I said SC, but 3C is going to be moved to a 37, and then the 41 to a 3C, basically just dropping each one of them five. So, here we go. So, I'm going to hook up the adapter. And my license key for Forescan was expired. So I had to reload it. So we'll start Forescan, put the key in the ignition, turn the key on. That's what we're gonna do down here. I'm gonna go to connect. Yes, it's on. It's an automatic, so I don't have a switch on it. Yes. I'm gonna go to that profile and we'll wait for everything to uh, to load here looks like we're ready so we want to go into the microchip here and we want to go down to body control module um, so I'm gonna just click this and see if I have an automatic setting that I can just switch the PSI to. sometimes you'll have that so we will scroll to the bottom because it's all alphabetical order. Okay, so TPMS. It says mine are 75 and 80. Weird. Let's. I'm going to back out of this, and I'm going to see what the as-built says. All right. So we need to go to... 726-4001. So, 726-4001. So, I'm at a 4B50. Jeez. Yeah, mine's really high. Uh, so, yeah, 50 is 80. And 4B isn't even on here. Okay. Well... That's why my light's not going off because it's super, super low. Um, but anyway, so I will, uh, I'm going to back out of this and I am going to go back to the automatic configuration there. Um, and I'm gonna, just going to switch. Uh, yeah, so we'll go back down here to TPMS and we're going to change the front to... 
and change the front to 60. And the rear to 65. You know what? No. I'm going to go 70. I'm going to drop each each 10, and then I'll put some air in the tires. There. We'll do 65 and 70. So we'll hit right. Old value, 80 and 75. Now it's going to be 70 and 65. Yes. Okay, now cycle the ignition off and then back on. Bam. Click OK. And still says I have the tire low pressure, but they're not registering at the moment. Um, but I'm most likely going to. I'm going to have to fill them up here a little bit, but I think 65 and 70 should... Um, work pretty good you know what nope I'm gonna drop it to where I wanted it 1665 just because I want to there now we'll cycle the ignition again Click OK. Still getting the low alarm, but um, as soon as I fill these up above those thresholds, should be good, and uh, I'll check back in with you then. All right, well, I put a little bit of air in them, and uh, the warning went away, so. A uh, combination of obviously it needed some air um, or else after I started driving on the road after they warm up um, it would go off it would reset it but uh, then as it sits it's gonna do the same thing again so I figured I'd just put some air in it um, yeah and I did uh, well my my pressure gauge is off a little bit but uh, I did 70 psi in each one um, that's it for this video like I said, I've got other ForceScan videos. Check out my playlist. You can see everything on there. Um, if you got any questions, hit me in the comments below or uh, send me a DM on Instagram. Um, but until we meet again, guys, later.